Your monthly subscription box from PostFlyBox.com includes all the materials needed to tie a dozen flies along with some extra goodies. The tungsten autoemerger is a unique looking trout fly that can be used to imitate a variety of emerging aquatic insects that trout regularly eat. Here we're going to tie a larger one using the bigger silver bead and a size 16 hook. Begin by feeding the point of the hook into the small hole of the bead and working the bead up the hook shank to behind the eye. When you're done, get the assembly firmly secured in the jaws of your tying vise. Solder wire is used to both add some weight to the fly and to help stabilize the bead. Holding one end of the wire in the fingertips of your left hand, start taking touching wraps with it up the hook shank. After six or seven turns, helicopter the wire to break it off close, then break off the excess tag end. Push the wire wraps up into the back of the bead to force it against the hook eye. Load a bobbin with the spool of black uni thread. Get the thread started on the hook shank behind the wire wraps and take a bunch of thread wraps to further anchor the wire and create a transition down to the hook shank. You can then snip the excess off close. Get hold of one of the brown saddle hackle feathers and coax a dozen or so of the fibers down so they're perpendicular to the stem. Pinch the tips of the fibers in the fingers of your left hand and strip away the stem with your right. Aligning the butt ends will help to align the tips. Measure to form a tail or trailing shuck that's about a hook in length. While keeping this measurement, trim the butt ends of the fibers off even with the wire wraps. Give your bobbin a counterclockwise spin so when you take the first thread wrap, it'll jump back and catch the fibers. Continue taking thread wraps rearward, binding the hackle fibers to the top of the hook shank well down into the bend. Then wrap forward with your tying thread back up to behind the wire. Copper wire is used to rib and segment the fly. A six inch length is enough to make several auto emergers. Place one end of the copper wire up against the wire wraps on the near side of the hook and take thread wraps to anchor it there. Continue taking thread wraps all the way down the hook shank to the base of the tail. Then once again, advance your thread forward to the initial tie in point. Now we're going to add a bit of flash. Get hold of one of the thinner strands of flashaboo and lay it against the near side of the hook. Take thread wraps to secure it all the way to the base of the tail, then again wrap all the way back up the shank. Start making open spiral wraps up the hook with the flashaboo. Five or six turns usually looks pretty good. When you reach your tying thread, use it to firmly anchor the flashaboo, then snip the excess off close. Now get hold of the copper wire and start making wraps with it between the turns of flashaboo. This produces a really interesting effect. Again, when you reach your tying thread, use it to firmly anchor the copper wire, then helicopter the wire to break it off close. Position your thread at a point about an eye length behind the back edge of the bead. Snip an inch long segment of white zeolon from the strand, then separate that segment lengthwise into two. Place the midpoint of one of the two split strands on top of the hook shank and take several tight thread wraps to secure it. Lift the butt ends of the material up to vertical and snip them off close. Then snip the rear pointing material off to form a short emergent wing. Take a few more thread wraps to cover up the butt ends of the material, then leave your tying thread at the base of the wing. Pick up one of the wider strands of flashaboo and secure one end of it to the top of the hook with wraps of tying thread. Green dubbing is used to create the thorax of the fly. A small pinch is all you need. Use the dubbing to create a short, very thin noodle on your tying thread. Then take touching wraps with the noodle to build up a slightly bulbous thorax on the fly. End with your tying thread at the back edge of the bead. Pull the strand of flashaboo forward out over the hook eye to form a shiny wing case. Then use wraps of tying thread to bind it down behind the bead. It's a good idea to fold the flashaboo back and take a couple of thread wraps to hold it back. This ensures it won't pull free. You can then use your tying scissors to trim the excess off close. Finally, do a four or five turn whip finish, seat the knot well, and snip your tying thread free. 
the tungsten auto emerger is a very versatile fly that works remarkably well throughout the year. Give it a try. Thank you.